Special Moderator, Mr. Manjur Haq, Ambassador of Bangladesh, Mr. Ashraf Dola, members of FCCJ, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Very good afternoon to you all. Indeed, this is an honor to me to invite me here and to give me the privilege to speak before so many learned journalists and media personalities. I shall speak very briefly on the issues, international, I mean, institutionalization of democracy and fighting terrorism. I want to make the session interactive. I think uh, then if the session is interactive, that will benefit us more. You know that Bangladesh was, became independent in 1971 at the cost of the lives of 3 million people and sacrifice of the honor of 200,000 women. And what left the independence war of Bangladesh? The three elements left the independence war of Bangladesh that is aspiration for democracy, nationalism, and secularism. Bangladesh is a major Muslim country. Indeed, Bangladesh is the third biggest Muslim country of the world. And the population of Bangladesh today, 150 million people, and that is 2 point, about 2.5% of the total global population. But we are not suffering from identity crisis. What is the case in many countries? First, we are Bengali. And then, we are Bangladeshi. And third comes, we are Muslim. So we are not suffering from identity crisis. And that led the independence war of Bangladesh. And after the independence war, our founding father, in 1975, killed along with his family members, along with his 18 family members. The present Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, and her sister, Sheikh Rehana, could survive because during the massacre, they were in approach. And after 1975, scenario in Bangladesh changed. On the major values, that led the independence of our Bangladesh. After 1975, the defeated force in 1971 got the ground in Bangladesh. And Bangladesh slowly deviated from its original principles of secularism and democracy. The party that ruled the country from 1975 and the people and the party that ruled the country from 1975 till 1990, all these parties were, I mean, were established in the cantonment, and these governments are backed by the military. In 1991, we had election. And the election was conducted by a non-party caretaker government in our constitution now. After the completion of the tenure of the political government, the chief immediate past chief justice of the country <coughs> takes the charge of the caretaker government for three months, and their responsibility is to hold the election within this three-month period. And that was introduced in 1991, and after the uprising against the then ruler, General Ishad, the opposition, major opposition parties could come to a consensus to form this Catholic government, later which was I mean, included in our constitution. Now, constitutionally, after the completion of the tenure of the political government, Catholic government takes, takes over. But in 2006, when 
the then government took the initiative to increase the retirement age of the Supreme Court judges by two years in order to nominate the person of their choice as the caretaker chief. Then there was popular uprising in Bangladesh. Then the government <coughs> that took over, I mean, in our constitution, there are few provisions for, Catholic, for the formation of the Catholic government. The first choice is the immediate past chief justice should take the responsibility of the chief of the Catholic government. And if he denies or if he is unable to take the charge, then the chief justice before the immediate past one should take the charge. And if he is unable or if he denies, then any of the justices of the appellate division of the Supreme Court should take the charge. And all these process if exhausted, then the president should consult with the major political parties to nominate a senior citizen of the country as the caretaker chief. And if that process is exhausted, only then the president can take the charge of the caretaker chief. But in 2006, after the completion of the tenure of the then government, president did not go through this process. He himself declared as the caretaker chief of the country. And there the problem started. And then there was popular uprising in Bangladesh. And then the military backed caretaker government took the charge under the leadership of uh, Dr. Fakhruddin that ruled the country for two years, which was, uh, I mean, the members of that government mainly was the a member of the civil society, but the government was military backed. So in Bangladesh, there was occasional interruption in the democratic process, although Bangladesh became independent because of the aspiration of the people for democracy and secularism and nationalism. I would not stick to the past. Rather, I would speak on the present context. So in, two, in 2008, on 29th December, we had the best election in the history of Bangladesh. We had good elections in Bangladesh in the past. The election that was held in, on 29th December 2008 was the best one in the history of Bangladesh. And by any international standard, I'm proud to say the election was one of the best in the world because the turnout was 87%. Even for the women voters, the turnout was even more than 87%. And we have now one of the best voter lists in Bangladesh with photo ID, what is not present even in many other countries in the region and in the world. And there was almost no fraudulent of vote during that election. And in that election, Awami League and Awami League led alliance. Awami League alone got about 260 seats, uh, 250, around 250 seats out of two, 300 seats. And Awami League led alliance got more than 200, about 270 seats. So in the parliament, including the women members, I mean, we have 90% of, of the total parliament members in the parliament. And before the election, why we have got so huge majority in the parliament? Because before the election, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, leader of Awamini, could convince the people we would be able to bring stability in, the re in, in Bangladesh, and also we would be able to contribute for the stability in the region as a whole. And our principle is to, I mean, for the democracy, I mean, to uphold democracy, to uphold human rights, and to provide equal rights to all the people uh, from all the religion and from all the uh, 
uh, to all the religion and to all the peoples, to all the citizens of Bangladesh, respective of religion and culture.